I feel like I've been on like a lifelong journey to find the perfect pair of jeans and I just haven't yet to be honest like I've had jeans that I've liked but I've never had that pair of jeans where it's just like I could wear them with anything I love the fit of them and they're just perfect in every way you know what I mean and so I've been kind of wanting to start this journey on my channel for a while where we kind of test out a bunch of different denim um, from different stores and so hopefully at the end of this I will have my perfect pair of denim like maybe even multiples I'm not but to be optimistic maybe we'll have multiple pairs of amazing jeans and I figured hopefully this could help you guys out as well as far as just like testing different brands and kind of getting my opinion on them about sizing quality all that kind of stuff and actually a few months ago I did find a pair of jeans that I really really like and they're from H&M and I have them right here actually. they are these ones they are the 90s baggy jeans ultra high waist if I could describe my perfect pair of jeans, it would be these. They're straight legged. They're baggy everywhere. I just wish that the like the waist was a little bit tighter. That can always be fixed with tailoring, but I'm trying to find something that I can get as close to it without tailoring. And then if I want to tailor it, whatever. And if I have to end up tailoring things at the end and I can't find my perfect pair of jeans, then so be it. But we are going to die trying. Figured if I love these so much, why not try all of the other jeans at H&M, which explains the big giant box behind me. And okay, I should preface this. It's not every single pair of jeans. It's basically every pair of jeans that I thought could be like what I'm looking for. So essentially, basically all of their jeans that are not their skinny jeans or their low rise jeans, because essentially I'm looking for like higher rise, mid rise, straight to baggy to wide ish. Here's the box. It is so heavy. I don't know if you can see inside of here, but there are a lot, <laughs> a lot of things. We have 10 pair of pants here. Okay, I decided to change. I changed my top so you can kind of see everything more. And these are the first pair that I'm talking about. The 90s baggy high rise. And I did size up in these to a size 18 because I really wanted that baggy look. And so this is how they fit, if you can see. And I would say they do fit great. Like I love the fit. Like I said, they're my favorite jeans that I do own. But um, the, but there is a ton of gaping at the back and it does get worse as you wear them, obviously with like denim. So I did buy different colors in them in different sizes to kind of compare and contrast and everything. Okay, so first we're going to do the 90s baggy ultra high waist. I have them in this like medium mid-tone denim color um, in a size 18 and then I also have a size 16 and then I'm currently wearing an 18 in the black ones. If for reference, I am normally a size 16 in basically everything. I would say my waist is probably like a 33 in like Abercrombie sizing and I'm about 5 foot 8 and I also am on my period and bloated so this is probably not like mentally the best time <laughs> to do this but we're doing it and anyway so these are the 16s in the 90s ultra high waist baggy and as you can tell they're a lot tighter than the last ones and I don't know if that's because the color difference I know sometimes like the wash on denim changes that but this is how they look from the front and then from the side from the back from the other side um, and front again so I think what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna look through the mirror and kind of just go through my thought process I do really like the way that they fit though first of all the length is great I love that um, I love how high they go they go right at my like actual waistline which I think is great um, I love the wash also they're very comfortable they're like not super thick they're very like middle ground I've had thinner jeans from like other places even H&M I feel like but these feel really nice Definitely no stretch in them, but I feel like these are actually probably like my perfect size. I mean, it is, you know, my normal size. And then from the side, you can see that there's a tiny, tiny bit of gapping, but like that really doesn't bother me because I feel like no matter what I've had gapping, unless they go like really high and in and they skin tight on the top, then I haven't gotten that like with vintage jeans and stuff. But I feel like with modern jeans, I just feel like with the fit that I want on the leg that might just be like a non-negotiable. Um, but this is how these look. I'm going to try on the 18 and kind of compare. And already, I feel like they're not like that much of it. Okay, on the back, I can feel a difference. When I'm buttoning them, like you can't really. Also, just to preface, the period underwear I'm wearing are kind of compressive. So just when it, I don't know. In case that could be helpful information at all, here is the 18. Honestly, I think I still do like the 18s better. Like, I feel like there is definitely way more gapping. Like, if you can see that, there definitely is more gapping than the last pair, but like, overall, they're just more comfortable. And I feel like if I wanted like that super, super baggy fit, I would even go up another size or two. You know, like that super, 
you know, baggy fit. And I, also another reason I do love H&M, by the way, this is not sponsored. I purchased all these by myself. Um, but I want to try H&M because I do have a wider size range than a lot of other denim companies. And I, I do want to try some like higher end denim because I would really love to invest in a pair of denim, but uh, so many of them only go up to like, uh, I don't even know, a size 33 or something. And that's like where mine stops. And when I want that baggy fit, I would like to be able to size up if I wanted to. But anyway, this is hard. I do like the 18s more. I would size up in these if you like that little bit more or less skin tight fit here. And like I said, they do like stretch out once you wear them. So that's the only annoying thing is they fall down, you know? Overall, these are my favorite of them. I would give them, I'm going to rate them out of 10. Okay, I'm going to give them a nine. The only thing that I have the problem with is the gapping and like the stretching out, so maybe an eight. Also from the 393 reviews online, the sizing marker that they have it is in between true to size and runs large, but closer to true to size, if you know what I mean. And I would say that's exactly accurate. Okay, these are the 90s baggy jeans, just high rise, not ultra high rise. And these are size 16. These are the only size that I think I got in these ones, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, these are the only size that I got in these. And these are like the lightest swash, I want to say, that they offer in these. And I really like, I would say, the difference between the last ones and these ones. The leg is definitely wider, if you can tell. Um, and also, also there's like very minimal gapping. Like very minimal. Here's the back, the sides, the front. Also, I have paint on me <laughs> that I couldn't get off in the shower. But anyway, I feel like if you really like that like tight, sometimes I do like that really like suctioned tight feel. Honestly, why do these kind of seem higher rise than the last ones to me? I don't know. But I don't know. I really like the fit of these, to be honest. These might be above these. I don't think I can knock a point for anything. I really like the wash of them. They look kind of vintage. Again, there's no stretch in them. Uh, they're like that same thinner denim fabric or just thinner denim. And I like them. If I was going to be harsh, I would say I don't love like I don't know, I feel like it's darker here, so it creates shadows. Oh my god, the train. It's like the coloration here. I feel like it's darker, and I feel like it could accentuate the belly area, but I don't necessarily really care about that, so these might be above these, just because I also feel like they look more expensive too than those ones. Like, I love that they don't have like a lot of extra fabric on the back. That's so cool to me. I really like how wide these are too. I don't know, I feel like these are like, they're very airy on the bottom as well. Okay, so here we have a white pair to try on because I am also always looking for, I love white jeans. Anyway, these are the 90s baggy jeans, high waist or high rise. I really like these though. I think they fit the exact same as the last pair basically. No, the pair before I would say they're closer to. Literally exactly the same. I like that they're loose on the leg. This is them from the side. There's not a lot of gapping. Um, from the back, from the other side, these are size 16. I like these. I would give them an 8 out of 10 just because I do wish they were a little bit looser here. I don't know, but again, like I said, I'm also bloated, so it's like, I don't know. I would say that the quality, I do like the quality. I think they're a little bit thin for what I would, like, love my white jeans to be. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like if I wasn't wearing nude underwear, you'd be able to totally see them through, which I know that's, a, like, the thing for white jeans things in general. Um, so that's why I give an 8 out of 10, but other than that, I think they're great. I think they're a great choice for white jeans. If you're looking for that like oversized fit, again, you can size up to give that like looser fit. And I think that these would be perfect for that. One, two, three. Okay. Well, uh, right off the bat, these are no, <laughs> these are the nineties straight ultra high rise. So I expected them. Okay. Just kidding. These are actually the H and M plus nineties straight high jeans. And I would love to know why the H&M Plus line seems to, at least in these, run smaller than the straight size line. I don't quite understand that, but the straight sizes go up to an 18, by the way. Um, and then the H&M Plus line, I believe, goes up to a size 26 in these, um, or in most of their jeans or sizing or whatever. And I think that that's great. I just don't quite understand the, the sizing, but anyway. Exact same thing as the ultra high rise that I just had tried on, but like with a skinnier like bottom leg portion. The upper part seems to be the only thing that has changed because I feel like the bottom part, like the, the leg part, looks the exact same as the 90s baggy, but these were a bitch to put on. But like, and as soon as I got them up to my thighs, you know that feeling, I was like, oh, <laughs> nope. I didn't even know if they were gonna come up, but these are size 16, same as the last pair, so it's kind of crazy how much that changes within a different style of denim. Also, it could be the color of denim. If you wanted this fit exactly, 
First of all, I don't even think they're as high-waisted. Maybe that's just because they're tighter and the crotch is a little bit lower, but, but I feel like if you wanted this style of them, I would definitely size up one or two sizes. But to be honest, I like the fit or like the style of the last ones, the 90s baggy rather than the 90s straight. I don't know. And then here we have from the side, the back, the other side. They're just like, you know, like the ones that just give you like the absolute worst butt ever. They're just like not my size, you know? They're just like squeezing into pants that are too small, but shouldn't be because they're my size. That's exactly why I wanted to make this video because it's like these, it's crazy to me. I don't know. Anyway, I like the color of them. The fat, like the feel of the denim looks really nice and feels really nice. I like the color. I like the feel of them. I think that they're a really nice like quality feel. And I also think that they're just like more of that like traditional denim as well. That could be why there's a different fit to them. I love the coloring of them. I feel like the denim feels really nice. It feels like good quality. And I do really like the, the shape of the legs. I love that. I wish they were a little bit higher rise. I wish they obviously... We're a little bit looser around the waist area because even if they fit like this like i feel like the bottom part is perfect and also i just bent down to get these and i was like you can't i can't bend down in them um anyway let's try here we go again <laughs> okay i would say they're a little bit looser a little bit bigger than the last ones they were a little bit easier to get on these are just the simple high rise wide leg size 16 they're in a size 16 I think they are a little bit better than the past ones just because I feel like even though they are way too tight, they I could get away with it, you know, if I like had to for some reason. Like they aren't cutting into me as much, even if it may look like that. Um, but this is them from the side angle. There's like that gaping that I don't know what you would call that, the gaping where it happens to where they're too small and they're like not high enough. I have that in a lot of pair of jeans that are like mid-rise or high rise or whatever that are just too tight on me where they gap because they don't like go up as high on the back. Maybe it's because of my butt shape or my butt size. I don't know. Anyway, here's the back and here is the right side as well. Like these are way more movable though than the last ones. The last ones like I could not be comfortable in at all. Again, I personally, unless you like them super tight and I think they are going to fit differently on everyone. Like I said, if you have like a different butt shape or size than me, I feel like they would be probably better. From the front, they look cute to me. It's from the back where I don't like the way that that looks. All that being said, I would give them a six and a half out of 10. Not as bad as the last pair, not much better, but like a little bit better. Also, if you can see like the leg shape, they are definitely wider than the other ones. You can tell that they are like a wider shape. They go more like that at the bottom. And they also have a raw hem. Okay, these are the exact same pair that I just tried on, but they're in white and they're one size up. These are a size 18. I don't know. I'm just like not loving them when I'm looking in the mirror. I'm like, I don't love the shape, at least on me. The fit is still kind of really weird to me. I like the fabric as well on the last pair of white denim that I tried. I feel like these feel like a lot less nice or cheaper. They just feel cheaper in general. And they're just a different fabric. I don't know. They're more of like a stretchy fabric, I will say, than the other ones. This is how they look from the front with my legs together and then the side, the back, and then the other side. Like you can see the pockets through the pants, which I just never think that that's a good sign. Like with white jeans. I'm gonna give them like a four because I just don't like the fabric. I don't like the fit. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> my first beef with these is that they have button flies, which actually should be illegal in my opinion i just hate them does anyone like button flies be honest please i would like to point out that these say on the tag loose fit mom jeans like if i were to have been trying on skinny jeans i'd be like you know these are great but the fact that they're supposed to be loose fit mom jeans i'm like where is the loose fit where's the mom i i don't know i feel a little bamboozled uh, uh the, the fit i mean overall i would say first of all they're very comfortable they're stretchier this lighting is annoying me so i'm sorry but if they fit good they're comfortable these are size 16 by the way my normal size i really like the fit i feel like they are like because they're a little bit stretchier of a fabric they're not like that non-stretch um denim like all, all of the other ones basically and so i feel like i wish that this fabric could be in like the 90s baggy and then I feel like we would be perfect because from the front if you can see that I feel like it's very nice this color is really nice it looks good and in the back there's really not much gaping even if any at all actually um and I don't know I really I really want to like these because I really do like them I just wish that the ends were looser like from here to there just like going straight down you know what I mean I think I have to give them like a uh seven out of ten not bad not good.
I'm dying to see what the reviews say about this and I'm not wearing pants so I have to stand like this but um, mom high ankle jeans. If you can see the model, I feel like if you, you had a smaller body type than me, they would look more like a mom jean. Maybe it's just because, you know, I have thicker legs and thighs, but they look loose on this model. Like they're supposed to fit looser. These are the slim regular waist. And if I'm being honest, I'm, I don't have high hopes after opening the package. They look like they're going to look like the last ones. Slim for sure. I don't know what slim means, but slim for sure. Yeah. I mean, these are the only ones that I got that have like a rip. I just don't like these. This is not my ideal jean. If you do like a skinnier jean, I honestly feel like there are better out there. <laughs> like from Abercrombie, I've gotten better. Um, and even Old Navy. These are regular waist also, by the way. So like, and so I wasn't expecting high rise. Don't get me wrong, but I do think they just hit me at a really bad point in my uh, waist I guess. I feel like from my experience with jeans these kind of remind me more of like in between a low rise and a mid rise. I'm more of a mid rise high rise kind of girl. Then here's a little bit more up close. They're just I don't know they're just too low. I don't like them. I would give them a 2 out of 10. I just hate them to be honest. Okay I felt like I just needed to get those off but overall they, they live up to what they say. They say slim and so I guess that would I think that means like a looser fit than a skinny leg. Um, so I guess they are true to what they say. I just still think their sizing is off on those and the quality does not feel there for me personally. If I was even looking for a slim pair of jeans, I wouldn't go for those ones, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, we saved the best for last. You guys know how much I love floral print and I put these on and I, I'm so excited because I was like, they're stretchy, they're so comfortable, I think they're so cute. They're exactly what I've been looking for. I actually purchased a pair. I showed you guys in a vlog a while ago from H&M and, and they didn't fit and so I was heartbroken. And so I was determined to find a pair of like floral jeans like this. And I just feel like these are cute. They're so cute. It's so nice. They're the straight leg high rise and they're stretchy. First of all, none of the other ones have been stretchy. These are stretchy. So there's like no gapping at the back. If you can see that, I am just obsessed. I think they're so nice. I know they're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. They are my cup of tea and I will be wearing these and keeping these. Um, and so I love these. I think they fit really nice. They hit at the perfect like part for high rise. I wish this fabric, whatever they used for this could be in all of the other jeans that I've tried on because it doesn't feel like jagging or anything. Like it doesn't feel too stretchy. It feels like denim still, but there's more stretch in it, you know what I mean? So all in all, this is my yes pile, uh, also with the floral ones that I'm wearing. So three pair out of 10 made it out alive. And I feel like that's like not the best odds, but it's better than what it could have been, so I'll take it. Um, I think I am going to be keeping all three of these pair. Well, maybe I'll pick between these two because I feel like they're too similar on color. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like it was decent. Like, if you are looking for a pair of jeans and you want to try H&M and they're inexpensive, I feel like you can find a pair there. I would recommend. See, the reason I did this online rather than going and trying them on is because at least at the H&M's near me, I have not really had much luck finding over a size 12 in store and I think that's something they definitely need to work on um or just in general I don't even see their plus size section they have like a plus size section online but not in store but anyway if your store is near you carry your size whatever size you are I do highly recommend going in and trying them on I really think that the 90s baggy ultra high rise are my go-tos from H&M. I think those and sizing up one is like the perfect combination for me personally on what I want and what I like. And so that's kind of where I'm at with H&M. Other than that, I would love to hear what you guys think down below. If you guys have found a pair of denim or jeans or pants in general from H&M that you like, what you think of their sizing. You guys know H&M is one of my go-tos when I do want to shop retail um, and for like inexpensive basics and stuff. I love their sweaters and their knitwear and jackets and stuff. Um, but denim, I don't know. And their sizing already is kind of wacky. When I used to shop there, they used to like run small. And then now within the past few years, I think that most of their stuff runs oversized. Anyway, let me know what you guys would like to see next from this kind of series, because I really, again, I really truly am being honest, I'm trying to find my pair of jeans. So just because I did like these jeans, I don't think that they're like, they don't make my heart stop, you know? So let me know what you guys think I should try next. I, I'm thinking Good American. I think we could have some good luck there. And I've really, I've had a pair of Good American jeans and I really love liked them um and so I kind of been itching to try them I've been on their side a few times and have not pulled the trigger so let me know and make sure you're subscribed down below if you're not already and I'll talk to you guys next time love you bye